Hi there, this is Josh from Literary Gladiators, and for the first time in quite some time, uh, I'm here with thoughts from my library. Uh, this is for September 18th, 2023. And the main topic for this thoughts from my library is going to be about going into our 10th year. Our 10th anniversary is February 11th. Uh, we started the channel on February 11th in 2014 uh, but by that I mean that's when we released our first video uh, around this time maybe a little bit after is when we really started to uh, that's when I started to come up with the idea and it started taking fruition in my head uh, and uh, during the fall semester I started to uh, ask around and then we filmed our pilot on December 19th of 2013 and we filmed the other episodes in January of 2014 but I want to in particular talk about what I have in mind for 2024 and uh, what while we are planning to release individual content it's not going to be in the structured schedule that I had in mind for 2022 and 2023. Uh, I think that we did a, a pretty good job and there, there were some contributors on this channel that really did an outstanding job staying up to their schedule and uh, I really like the ideas that they put forth and it made for very organized videos and then uh, but I think that going into next year uh, I'm going to give them the option to do that as well because I think that they're on a uh, they have a good rhythm but the areas that I would like to concentrate on going into next year are the roundtable reads which I really like what that does I like the fact that it brings everybody together we nominate a work, we rank the works, and then we put it up for vote to see what the viewers want to see. And then we get everybody's input, which makes for a very interesting uh, roundtable exchange of thoughts. Uh, we are going to be starting with our play and graphic text roundtable read. I have one in mind uh, where it's going to be, I want to have it uh, match up with the 10th anniversary. So contributors and I are going to be, are going to have quite some time to uh, read the works uh, because there's going to be, it's going to be books and novels. We have a ranking, we do the vote, but the top two are going to be the ones that go through. And so they can choose either one, the other, or both. Just like with the plays and graphic text, they can read the play, the graphic text, or both the play and the graphic text. And uh, for this, for the upcoming, for the fourth round table read, they're going to have up until February so that we can release it on February 10th. February 11th, I want to do something special for the 10th anniversary. I also have uh, other ideas in mind. Uh, I want to do a short story writer and poet roundtable where they can pick a short work writer. They can nominate a short work writer and a poet, and we do we go through the same motions. Uh, maybe something with uh, a Newberry and a Caldecott uh, winner or nominee fiction nonfiction uh, there's one where I'm probably going to uh, allow contributors to put forth multiple nominees in the event that depending on how many they took part in uh, but these are all ideas that are stirring in my head and I'll see what we go ahead with these are this is only me uh, sharing rough drafts with you out loud 
uh, but I'm not going to be making any guarantees. Uh, but I hope that you guys enjoyed the previous roundtable reads that we had. Uh, we did The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue and Red Queen, uh, and I'll leave links down below to each of the playlists. Uh, and because we, we enjoy doing it. I think that it, it's very fun to get everybody's uh, thoughts. The other thing that I wanted to bring up is the fact that I am planning a 15th season of the general discussions on our channel. After season 14, I felt that it was a good time to restructure and uh, concentrate more on individual content. Uh, but we're going into our 10th year. Our channel was built on general discussions, and there's something about general discussions and the sessions in which they are filmed that really mean a lot to me. And what means a lot to me most is not necessarily the uh, viewership and the milestones, which are very, to me, it's extraordinary to see what we've accomplished. But my favorite part is being able to have a great time with the people that take part in the sessions, just interacting with everybody, uh, being able to talk about books, reading, and literature on camera and even off camera. Uh, sometimes we like to hold our thoughts until we get on camera because that makes things all the more exciting. Uh, but we engage in just any kind of conversation uh, off camera. We enjoy meeting up with each other. Uh, we we have good food. I like to be at, we've had it and we we just have a we have a stellar time and it means a lot when people that have taken part on the show uh, tell me how much they enjoyed themselves and how uh, much they really like to take part and want to take part and they they want to come back and take part even more. That's what really matters to me. And I think that I would love to see that kind of excitement. If the excitement that we had putting these sessions together uh, resulted in the... Uh, in a response that the viewer can feel just that. I think we've done our job. And I like that idea of being post-postmodern in the way that I want things to be as natural as possible. I think that what drives the show is the personalities and how unique the people that take part in are. Uh, I don't really want, uh, it's not, I don't really think that it should be stiff and feel scripted. I want it to feel like people are being themselves and a show can succeed when people are being themselves and approach things in a certain way. If Charlie gobbling up cookies helps somebody understand a Hamlet a bit better and people are able to gather their thoughts about that then and it helps them out with whatever assignment they're doing or just help them understand or be able to recognize the work I think that we've succeeded. I think that, and I just, I think that there's so many different approaches when it comes to the art of the written work, uh, because we go over everything. And I think that's the magic of the channel, that we, there is no boundaries as far as uh, what we discuss is concerned. If it's written work, it's game. And I think that we, I think that's something that we can just keep building on as long as there's work to go over and as long as there's work to uh, 
And even if we went over every single thing that's ever been written, we can go back and reevaluate them. But, I mean, we'll probably, it, it probably won't get to that point because there's so many things that have been written across, uh, throughout time and across the globe. About uh, so many years into uh, Mr. Rogers' first stint doing Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, he, he had filmed over a thousand episodes and decided that he felt that he did enough and uh, decided to just rerun what he had gone over and engage in other projects. One of which was Old Friends, New Friends, which was a show for adults. But he realized that there was so much more that he wanted to go over and decided to bring back Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood for another 22 years. Uh, he didn't produce as many episodes each year, but there was still a good backlog of episodes, many of which... Uh, follow the theme uh, and I think that that's exactly that, that's the way that I think as long as we can make it happen then I want it to happen because between there always being works to go over and always people to discuss these works with I think that there are many more memories that can be made by doing literary gladiators, the general discussions. And that's why I'm interested in going ahead with the 15th season. And it's only fitting to do it during our channel's 10th year. Because the 10th year is something that should be viewed as a spectacular milestone in itself. We've done this for so long, and we've been very successful at doing so. Uh, I'm looking at a season of 18 discussions. I will let you know more once we know what we're going to be going over. Uh, but more so, I think I would let you know when we film them, because we might have a list of works... But then there's also the technicalities, too. Uh, maybe we don't have the people to go over the work. Uh, backouts are always a big concern. I'm beginning to recruit people uh, to partake in the general discussions on our channel. And I want to let anybody know that if you live in in, near, or are willing to come to New Jersey, uh, we would love to have you, we would love to talk with you about uh, being on our panel, uh, because it would, it would be great to expand our team of participants, and I think that being able to have a nice team of participants, even if it's, uh, even if you only wanted to do uh, one to three discussions in a season, uh, if we had enough people that were up to doing it that way, then we would have a great team to uh, go ahead and make things work with. Uh, I've spoken with a handful of participants, the ones that I felt were up to returning, uh, are up to returning. They're interested in taking part. Uh, and I've been talking with some other people, uh, and they've shown some interest. Uh, I'm going to be going around and uh, promoting our channel and uh, uh, expressing interest in having them on board to take part uh, as far as uh, recruiting new members is concerned. Uh, we're looking for all kinds of people uh, that are avid readers uh, and of all kinds too, uh, be it English majors, people that work in libraries, people that work in bookstores, uh, people that like to write, uh, just 
anybody that would like to read and talk about what they've read and we go over everything we do books and novels short stories and short works poems plays graphic texts we've gone over we've gone over children's books documents essays speeches song lyrics we are limitless if it's written work it's game and I'm eyeing to do a free-for-all where we film more miscellaneous content. Uh, the four videos that I filmed with uh, Ari and Ari and Charlie, uh, I really enjoyed putting those together. Uh, Ari and I did Kathy's Breakfast book tag. Uh, then Ari, Charlie, and I did Fun with Flags, uh, Balderdash 2. And then the three of us did the anti-TBR tag. Uh, Charlie had to leave midway through, but uh, Ari and I continued the video. Uh, anyhow, uh, but I do have some individual videos coming up. I really need to get to them. Uh, I have two book tags that I created. I need to be able, I want to have them properly constructed and then have it ready to go for you. And then I have one book review that I just need to gather notes for and then one that I will be gathering notes for and that should be coming to you very soon. Uh, I would like to read uh, up and coming books that I've uh, looked at a list on Goodreads and they've made mention of the fact that they could potentially be nominees for the Newbery Medal. Uh, I am a sucker for lists. I, be it a writer's bibliography, be it uh, award winners and nominees for book and literary prizes, uh, be it presidents or Supreme Court justices or just anything that can be listed. I want to be it, it's just something that attracts me and I think a lot about it once I come across it and a given list may interest me at a given time and I want to be able to quench that uh, thirst as far as fulfilling uh, a list of some sort is concerned and I would like to finish the four books that I acquired as far as the Newberry nominees are concerned, and I might talk a little more about it in an upcoming video. I might even do a TBR video about it, because I think that would be fun. Uh, but this is just me talking about where I stand at this time as far as uh, my game plan is concerned and how I'm going to be approaching the 10th year here on Literary Gladiators. Uh, and I think the biggest thing is getting back into general discussions because I think that it's a great time to do so and I'm really hoping that we are able to bring in more participants for our panel and also I'm planning to reach out to some people to take part in the roundtable read uh, be it booktubers that I've interacted with and people that are uh, producing videos uh, I'd love to have them on board, maybe get some people from Goodreads. It would just be a very nice way to celebrate. And because the people in that I've interacted with uh, through the book community, be it through BookTube or Goodreads, have meant a lot to me. I think that it's this has just been extraordinary these 10 years we technically we started I started to interact more with the book community later into 2014 but it's still this is really when we started coming out with content and uh, the rest has been history
I want to thank you for tuning into this video and uh, engaging uh, in hearing about my thoughts. Uh, I really hope that you uh, enjoy what you see on this channel, uh, and I'm really looking forward to coming out with more content and uh, getting things rolling for a season of general discussions because uh, the other contributors are very enthusiastic as well. Uh, as of today, uh, we are 85 subscribers away from our milestone of 2,000 subscribers. And I'm really hoping to uh, reach that milestone. I think that would be big. If you really like what you see, please support us on our Patreon for the money that we make will allow us to provide you, the viewer, with even more great content. And for now, and as always, I encourage you to keep reading.